I think the biggest challenge that youth face is unemployment around the world and also here in Canada. There's not as many job opportunities, they face barriers accessing jobs and meaningful employment as well. I think the transition from youth to the next stage of life is um, challenging and people require new skills, new ways of working together. I think making sure that transition can happen both through young people having the skills they need but also the opportunities to engage, and to be empowered, to be employed and so on. A lack of opportunity which leads to often a lack of hope. I think one of the biggest things right now is that there's so many options um, but it's getting access to those options and trying to figure out what you love to do um, and how to create um, a job out of that that will um, earn you money but also be really rewarding. The youth in the world face some of the biggest social and economic challenges of our time. Uh, especially around youth employment and inclusion. They have a lot to say and I don't think they feel like everyone's always listening to them or putting put in value in, in what their opinion is. Youth are a really incredible force with a lot of skill, a lot of talent and a lot of potential to really shift systems and I think we need to be investing um, in that so we can really release our potential. No matter where you are in the world um, has their own skills and talents and we can all apply them to solve challenges together. I've learned most recently that collaboration is possible. There's a lot of innovation and energy in um, young people and then I think that we need to harness that. And what I realized uh, by joining YCI is that you don't need millions and millions of dollars to have a positive impact and to change lives. What might be a logical step is to give youth more of a platform in which to communicate their ideas or to continue building and spreading their ideas, which tend to be ideas that are more of an open perspective, more flexible, more tolerant, more progressive. So let's continue fostering that. Let's give them a stage. We are YCI. 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 The person has become more innovative to think about doing more for herself. I think for me it was an incredible experience. Why see I the minds of young people to build activities? You know, maybe mm -hmm. yeah. it's a way of helping myself. Okay. It was striking. Yeah, building it my everyone. abilities, <laughs> like working on myself, my team working skills, and knowing how to relate with other people. Why not invest in you? Because if you don't want to invest in youth, I think you're simply abandoning a whole generation. And I think that's the deal as a human being. You have to bring the next generation up. I think it's important to invest in youth because they are the future thinkers and leaders of our generation. Young people are incredibly talented. They're smart, they're ambitious, they're creative, and they're really hardworking. They have big dreams and ideas. And I think if we can invest in youth, then they can spend their entire lives making meaningful change in the world, in their families, in their communities. Investing in our youth isn't just going to help us with the future, it's going to help us with the present. And it means working together within that network to have an impact and to create an impact that then carries over to, uh, to multiple levels. We're very proud of our impact over the past 25 years, but the world is changing. And as an organization, we need to transform to serve youth in more innovative ways. Over the next few months, we'll be launching the next phase of the YCI journey, a phase that will focus on developing creative, market-ready solutions that catapult youth to succeed and prosper. We're working together to build a stronger and more resilient organization that address the challenges that youth face today. We're very excited about these changes, and we hope you'll join the Youth Innovation Conversation.